My name is Tammy Lee Meyer, and I'm pleased to join Peter Jones. Uh, we are exploring dialogue, generative di dialogue, different types of, of people who play in the space of networks, and exploring uh, where our work comes together and how we can help each other. Thanks for joining. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's very kind. So Peter, maybe we can start with a little bit about each of us. Uh, I'd love to share some of what brings you into these collaboration spaces and networks. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm a, an admin of a social media group on Facebook. Um, it's called Ecology of Systems Thinking. There's, there is a systems thinking aspect to it, but there's also an ecological aspect to it. And that brings me into contact with lots of different people. Um, but there are sometimes what I would say some characteristics about the types of conversations that take place. Uh, and that leads me to want to explore, to question uh, how, how those conversations can be held in an effective way. Definitely. <laughs> um, so in terms of where I intersect there, I am an admin with the Global Challenges Collaboration yes. and participating with a bunch of different networks and groups uh, who are looking to collaborate and work together and weave the offerings that we bring. Um, yes. And I have also noticed that there's a very... Uh, clear and broad range of, of different ways that people participate and comfortabilities and capacities and I really want to understand how I can help to facilitate connection between them and yeah and so I'd, I'd love to focus our our chat on that today fantastic excellent sounds great uh, so I, in in some of our prior chat uh, you had kind of identified four types of, of, of segments of people and how they participate. So maybe you can just lay that out for us. Okay. Um, so the, I suppose the, the one of the types that uh, I, I do come across, I feel, is, 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 and the label I tend to use is scientist. Um, these are people who are very talented can work at great levels of detail, um, but on some level find it hard to switch that off when it comes to speaking to wider audiences. Um, and therefore the challenge really in a way there is to work through some of the detail that they often provide to get to the, 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 the nub of what they want to do, where they want to go, some of those types of questions, uh, which is often hard to, a little harder to see because of the, the levels of detail. There's a second group of people I would call uh, holists, who very much tune into the, you know, we need to look after our mother earth, we need to be good to one another, we need to have good intentions. Um, but in, that, in, in those cases, there's probably fewer of those, I would say, in the ecology of systems thinking. There are other communities where there are lots and lots and lots of people like that, um, really wanting, to do, wanting to, to do good things, but um, not necessarily having the practicality to work out how that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. so, the, the, so again, we've got a, a, another group of people with a strength, a strength in some areas, but perhaps you know, sort of lacking some skills in other areas. Um, and I, I didn't say this uh, to you before, but I think it's important that we understand our strengths and our you know, weak weaknesses or development areas, um, because what matters is that we find people that we can work with to say, well, look, you know, I may be strong in this area, but can you compliment me in that area? Um, and I think that's quite an important thing for us to do. Um, so, so I've talked about two sets of people. Um, I would call myself a typically a project manager. That's somebody who kind of sits more in the middle, 
um, it's somebody who tries to be pragmatic about it, who tries to get people working together wherever possible. Um, and then I think there's a third, uh, there's a fourth uh, group of people who I would say fall into what I would call communicator, the communicator category, who are very good at storytelling. So they can take a, even sometimes a complicated story. Let's say the scientist has got a, a complicated story that they need to tell. Um, it would be so interesting to find ways to pair a scientist with a communicator and to say, and to say, yes, and to say, um, you know, how could we, how could we get you two guys, you know, working together effectively um, and able to connect to that, that wider audience, the set of people I was talking about who, who I'm calling holists, who are in, who might be interested, who might want to come and participate, who might come and, who might want to come and get involved in some way, um, such that, you know, they were actually doing something rather than just um, necessarily talking about it. So I see these four types, and I often, I, I do often think that people kind of tend to, um, if you like, uh, um, be, be of one persuasion or another. Of course, we're all different. Of course, we have different components and different elements and different pieces here and there but I think we we often do fall into one category or another and I would I would love to set, certainly in the ecology of systems thinking I would love to see more communicators who could come in and help people who are doing some fantastic and amazing things but are just struggling a little with the with the storytelling component yes definitely and I'd love to help I I, I would, I, I do play a role as a communicator, certainly. Um, yes. How, how would you see that? How would you see that? How, how, I'm interested to see how that could work, because I think we, we are talking about trying to put teams together. Yes. Well, it could work as, uh, you know, as a project manager, as a person that is thinking into how it might look like to... Yeah to consider what pairings would make sense. I'm one communicator, but there are many. Um, yes. And so um, pairing people who have like interests would be likely helpful. I mean, it's important for the communicator to be invested in the science that's being presented so that they can yes. follow their natural curiosity. And yes. uh, I think, I mean, I'm a just do it gal. Yeah. I'm a, like let's let's just kick the tires and pick you know one of the scientists that you would like to to uh, have someone explore and if it's a yeah. match if if it's a match for my interests which are really broad <laughs> yes yeah. um, because I I kind of see myself as all four n not balanced but I wow I I do yeah wow. That's great. I mean, it's it's quite rare to find somebody who who has all of the qualities. Well, as I say, I'm working on the balance. Uh, I <laughs> yes, I, I that was the best one of the best bosses I ever had talked about balance. <laughs> yes, one of the best. Uh, and and so just you know stepping in and kicking the tires and see what it's like. I think I think there's so much value that can be generated from the brilliant thinkers in our interconnected movements that it's it's actually just demonstrating the idea and inviting people to pick it up and and do it. You know, like I prior to this, I had written up uh, how to for uh, yeah. how to how to how to do this on a peer level. Yeah, and, yeah not as uh, you know for for me it's really important that it be generated from peers by peers demonstrating that kind of flat management thing yes uh, that's really interesting i mean we have we have a lot of discussion <laughs> some some people think we have too much discussion sometimes we do have too much discussion um but i like um and some of us are very into uh, very uh, and would agree with you that um I mean, we, we might call it action research. Yes. Meaning, exactly. you know, if you, if, you, if you try something, that gives you an opportunity to find out. And, and I also think that's quite a scientific 
way to do things because I think there's kind of two there's two aspects to science one is to say here's here's some observable phenomena can we say to ourselves that we understand why those observable phenomena are as they are and then the second way is to say well okay we predict that there should be these observable phenomena even though we haven't seen them yet and of course we're talking about quite clever people here we're talking about Einstein and people like that you know that's beyond that's certainly beyond me <laughs> um, but you know in terms of observable phenomena I think a lot of us would say yes okay we can see this happening the question is why is it something that is reproducible um, and you know even even where we're talking about people working together is that is that yes it's an observable phenomena but is that something that we can get to work on a regular basis so that there's a little bit a little bit more hopefully predictability about that and of course humans are so diverse that that's quite difficult <laughs> and the tension the the tension for me is between uh between making it clear enough and uh, creating the space for the emergence that wants to come through yeah between ah uh, yes 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 mm -hmm. i i would probably say i i know when we talked beforehand you said what do you want to talk about and then i gave you a whole a whole list of things which I, I kind of actually put more structure in than I, a i had thought i was going to do but then i thought maybe that's too much <laughs> so i know i do understand entirely what you're saying because you have to allow emergence yes yes i totally agree so part of part of the mechanics of this process is the frame itself how are people yeah. invited? Are they invited to participate in the framing? And that is really where the, the uh, creational, the causal action is. Because yeah. each participant is thinking what they really want. And that's what we need. Because we're used to being told what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in corporate world. Tell me how to show up. <laughs> that's right, I, I, when, when do I show up? Yes, yes. Uh, and, and this is putting people into the driver's seat of what it is that they actually want to create. Um, yeah, that lack of framing is very interesting because then suddenly you've got a group of quite disparate people. And then you've kind of got to produce a frame that says, how do we now work together? And if we are talking about a world where corporates have shrunk and we are connected together in this massive network called the internet how do we put those frames together such that they're not as you say such that they're not restrictive but they're still enabling yes yeah i think that's a really good point and i i am looking for people that want to look into that meta framing potentiality like what yeah. are the different lines of content that we can create uh and and then naming them and building out the 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 uh process flow so okay people can sit in there and go oh, okay i get it so i just you know do my intro we're going to focus on this topic because we've all agreed and yeah. then we're gonna, the very important part is you know what actions are we actually going to take together yeah right? sure and uh that's that's a critical part of what it is in what i would like to to experience with others uh, because this is only in a sense it's a documentation of the process of collaboration yes oh yes and documentation is really important mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I um, I did I did a little bit of work with some people in the teal one of the teal groups which was very interesting because they had produced a really great process up front and got actually huge levels of engagement. I mean, really quite astonishing levels of engagement. Um, but at the point that they needed to produce, if you like, the results of that engagement, um, the, 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 the team that they had, obviously they, they couldn't involve everybody. 
um, and there was quite a small team involved in producing it, uh, which meant that there was a sort of a quite a pause before they produced their results. And at that point, you're thinking, so what do we do now? <laughs> you know, if you're not part of the team that's producing the results. Yeah. And I, I don't, to this day, I'm not sure I know the answer to that. But I do know, I, I would love to be able to be thinking about how, how could there be an answer? Yeah. And I think it's step by step and according to the context, of course. Yes. Um, <clears throat> yes. So what do you think the, the, if you feel into it, what do you think the barriers have been like we've had the capacities to be able to do these things what sorry you could you say again because my 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 um Internet my tablet went into slow motion okay um capacity yes so so we've had the capacity and capability to do this for some time it's it's much better in tools like zoom like we're in now um, yeah but what do you think the barriers of of uh, breaking down these silos and in like this true deeper interconnectivity and collaboration are sure i think i i think you i think you certainly alluded to it um, a couple of sentences back because i think we are used to having that structure there for us in a corporate setting and i think we are all finding our way very much mm -hmm. in this sort of wide network mm -hmm. that we all now exist in. Um, and, that it, and it is about how do we connect to people meaningfully mm -hmm. and with purpose, um, with, with just enough structure to enable us to be getting things done, actual, actual real tangible things getting done. Um, and I think that we're very much at the beginning of that process. I think, you know, we've had Facebook since 2006. Mm -hmm. um, I was social networking three years before that. Um, so I kind of had a slight head start and I kind of saw some of the better behaviours that we <laughs> should be exhibiting and not, you know, some of these worst behaviours that have come on recently. We, we kind of need to try and address those. But yeah. um, so, so I was lucky. I think in that I had that, you know, sort of early view. Um, and then Facebook came along um, I, and we are, we're still finding out how to use tools like Facebook. Mm -hmm. And we are just starting to think about how do we connect nebulous groups of people together with very different backgrounds and experiences um, in such a way that we, we can work together effectively. We, in, in the ecology of systems thinking, there are people that I would, would again describe as, you know, pro project managers who are kind of, you know, focusing very, very hard on being able to make some progress to get some things done. There are some people in Africa we're trying to work with on projects out in Africa where we're trying to help them, um, probably from the knowledge transfer yeah. perspective, primarily. Um, but we're also looking at some of the more successful project managers are also more business oriented. So they're trying to connect, they're trying to build a bridge between the, if you like, the, the, the theoretical side where we know we have to do something about uh, Mother, Earth, Mother Earth, for example, from a conservation perspective. But we've also got to make people's lives sustainable. Yeah. They're, they're, they have to be able to earn a living doing this stuff. And finding and and if it is business skills that people need to do that, how do we give people those business skills in order to be able to make that connection such that nature is being conserved and people are earning a living? I mean that's that's quite a tough combination of things. In particular, in our current paradigm. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, there are a number of factors that are quite crazy. <laughs> about our current paradigm yes. uh, certainly crazier than i've seen absolutely so what would you say your purpose is peter 
I, I, I think I'm a facilitator primarily. Mm -hmm. I think I, and, and to some extent, an educator. So that I'm trying to get people to see that there are things that they can do in a tangible way. Um, and that to and to put, as we were saying, enough structure in place for people to say, you know, yes, I get that this could be something that is doable. What, what we talk about is a good colleague of mine. He'll talk about is something doable and worth doing, mm -hmm. and that sums it up absolutely beautifully. And I, he's a lovely, lovely fella. Love him to bits. Um, and um, it, it's such a neat way of saying that and so and so you want other people to be able to say that so you've got to put something in front of them where they can say yes i get that it's not too detailed it's succinct enough sharp enough well framed enough for them to be able to get that and say yes i get this i think this is worth doing and uh when you were speaking of the work that you want to support in communities in Africa, one of the things yes. is, is knowledge transfer. Yeah, sure. Um, I, I, <laughs> my screen's frozen. Hopefully you can still see me. I can. Um, but yes, there's, there's, there's about four projects that we're running. Uh, you're okay. Good. There's, there's about four projects we're running. There's a guy in Malawi who is running projects to educate, uh, young girls in the village um, some of that is to do with um, you know help helping them you know sort of get to school in the in the first place in, including uh, in, in terms of their uh, menstrual cycle um, on a once a month basis um, you know they, they don't have the right kind of sanitary products that allow them to go to school yeah. so he's, he's doing things of that sort he's he's obviously looking to provide educational facilities uh, for, for girls in particular and of course that's something that we all know is uh, 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 you know absolutely the thing that we should be doing um so so that's a that's a guy called uh, uh, um, jonas in malawi there's a guy in uganda who is trying to run a reforestry project um planting seedling trees What's that, project? Um, What's that project called? Um, I am not as close to that. I, 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 have to, I, have to, I have to cherry pick to an extent because I can't spread myself as thin as I'd like to spread myself. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can only spread so far. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, but he's a, he's, a, he's a nice guy as well. There's a guy in Kenya who's got a seeds project that he's running. He's, his name's Raymond. Um, and there's a guy in Zambia who is just uh, a kind of force of nature. Um, he, he's kind of, he sounds more, I don't know if he's English or maybe South, Af uh, South African, I'm not quite sure. A guy called Stephen. Um, and uh, he's, he's running all sorts of different projects. Uh, we've got another recent contact as well in Nigeria. Um, another guy who, in his case, we're looking at, you know, he wants to maybe run some projects to do with mobile Wi-Fi masts. So, you know, one of the things about villages in distant locations is how can they access the internet? Because it is a huge disadvantage if you can't access the internet. Um, so, so, so we do want to try and level the playing field if we can. So in terms of knowledge transfer, um, yeah. I, I feel like there's, a, there's an opportunity to use these frameworks and forms uh, yes. for that. Um, both in terms of sharing what's working in communities as well as connecting between them. Of course, the access to the internet and the tools is, is a challenge. Um, um, Go on. But, but it's a, but it's Sorry, a, the... uh, so the access is a challenge for remoter communities. Um, but it's, uh, I think, I think that would be a neat place for us to consider. You're okay. Can you, have you caught me? I think we're, I, can you hear me now, Peter? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I think I'll use my house a little bit there. Could you, sorry, could you try again? Yeah, just the, it's, I think that there's an opportunity to consider how these, 
uh, these kinds of uh, processes can serve knowledge transfer in communities. Yes. Um, so I'm just picking a thing that seems like a natural fit for us to co-consider together. Sure. Yes, absolutely. I think it, I, I agree. I think it's a natural space to 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 explore further. And and not only from the perspective of sharing from the community what they're doing and what's working, um, yes. but, but also connecting communities together so that they can be supporting each other and what they're learning as they're learning it. That's one of the areas I think we will need to provide support from a knowledge transfer perspective, because I think, I think in a typical village, it's very, it, it's, it's probably quite village centric. And so that, that interconnectivity that we're all a little bit blase about almost, um, you know, it, it's for them to understand that there are some amazing possibilities and potential for them. Yeah. Uh, and so I think we can perhaps help, help them in, in particular in that aspect. Yeah, and I'm a, I'm a teach to fish gal. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and and that's really this. We need to learn from each other, right? And and even yeah. even back to the parts of the conversation around the different styles of people, the holists, the scientists, the. Um, I still need to learn. <laughs> I've yeah. lots, I've got lots to learn. We all do, and but when we and when we learn it together as a process yeah. it's like ah you can get added levels um in the capture and demonstration of it and people can yes. take what they want and what they want to learn and go okay. with it yeah yes yes we um we, we have quite a lot of educational discussions as well <laughs> but but that may be for a <laughs> maybe for a different day but i mean it, you know um uh, clearly of course education in africa is also important Totally. And that is a whole huge, big topic. Um, and, yeah. uh, you know, for myself, I think it's really important to uh, recognize and honor and, uh, and support the, the education that wants to be had in a community. I'm very conscious as a Canadian of the colonization processes that have uh, very much damaged the culture here. Um, yes. And so, so, you know, my questions begin with, you know, what, what do communities want to be taught? Yes. Yes. What's it, it's, it's, it's selection, it's selection, not imposition. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm conscious of, of, of our time, which sure. we have a few more minutes, but I'd love to, I'd love to kind of wrap up with some uh, some thoughts that you may have around how you and I may be able to help each other. Okay. <laughs> I, I hope I can be succinct about this. <laughs> well, feel free to just jam, wend your way. This is us just being people. Okay. Um, well, f first of all, I think um, it's very important to have a working relationship where you know the other person. I understand. I think um, I wanted to say earlier about a, a gender overlap, which is kind of my, it's a slightly clunky way of describing it. Um, but I think you, and I think you said it much more nicely. Um, so, so it is about understanding what people want on both sides and then trying to find that common ground in the middle where both of you are doing things that you're saying, look, I want to, you know, I want to do this. This isn't something I don't want to do. This is something I do want to do. Um, and I think we've done a little bit of that. And I think there's, I think there's plenty more to explore. Um, there are kind of a lot, I know there are lots of projects going on <laughs> where, uh, you know, you know I, I'm sure that, you, you know, your type of skills would absolutely be very useful. So I, I, I'm, I'm interested to explore more. Awesome. So I'm happy to be project managed um, and invited to have a conversation with a person that you think would be, would be good. I'm, Fantastic. 
I'm excited. It, I'm excited to have it as a co-convening if you want to participate and be in it. Sure. Uh, uh, and I am also really experimenting with different numbers of people. So if yeah. four people is awesome sure. uh, as well, uh, yeah. to consider a constellation of people that would make a good conversation. Yeah, uh, sure. Okay. So I, we I'd can talk about that. Great. Um, sure. And, what I what I need is people who are willing to think into these spaces and give considered feedback and bring yes. their ideas and jam. <laughs> okay, I, I, I do. I, I, there are a lot of people who I would say pretty much fit that category. I'm not. I, I, I don't know whether they would be a perfect fit, but I think they pretty much fit the category. Awesome. And is there anything that I can do to help you that occurs? I think this has been very helpful. Uh, and again, I'd like to thank you very much for inviting me to, <laughs> to come and jam. Um, it's been fun. Thank you. Um, so I think I'm, I'm hopeful that, you know, this, this can be a, a stepping stone uh, towards wonderful things. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. And yeah, this was really gratifying and it's an honor and pleasure to meet you. Uh, certainly on my side, thank you.